As I did every weekday at 10, I announced reading time and asked the older kids to help the younger ones put up the pieces of their games. Go, Anthony, I shouted across the room. Grab your book. You're working with me today. He hesitated, moseyed over to the book table and scooped the reading that he chose from the library. I led him outside thinking this would be a better environment for him to learn in, away from the hot eyes of his peers, but two pages and 25 minutes later, his frustration is boiling. His teeth suck in a sign of disappointment. Disappointed because little Anthony's little homie Ricky is reading at six. Anthony is twice his age with half his phonics. Still I press on, next word, next page. Question, what's the story about? Title, Under the Quilt of the Night, the generic narrative of a black boy and his family being hunted on the Underground Railroad. But there's nothing generic about little Anthony's situation. In fact, it's so specific. Lil' Anthony's limited. He can't read. However, I will not accept the situation as permanent, so I press harder over and over and over again. Spell it out. Take your hand off your mouth. Take your shirt off your face. Keep your eyes on the page. Focus, Anthony. But Lil' Anthony's stuck. Stuck so hard, his tortured facial expressions make abortion seem like easy decisions. And he tries so hard, stuttering. He gives so much effort, so much intensity, but instead of words from his mouth, little Anthony's tear ducts start to swell. He tries to blink them dry. He knows I see them. So sad to see his little man look trembling beneath a five letter word, but no struggle, no strength. I won't give up, so he can't neither. Read, focus, fall. Goes the first tear down his clenched teeth. Jaws. Little rivers start to form down his face. Mississippi memories running down his cheeks. And the first tear falls to the pages below. And another comes after. And another by now, little Anthony's blurring his vision. He's wetting his pages. By now, little Anthony's bawling. And I can't help but think, who to crack? Who to crack? Who to crack? Toby crack. Toby crack. Child crack. Grandchild crack. Great grandchild crack. Little Anthony's reading out of slave grade level. Try to read and we remove your eye. Try to speak and we remove your tongue. Try to teach in its rope throat. Flesh burn. Venus seven and nine. Talk about strange fruit. This is familiar produce. Croker Owl Tim, do you see little Anthony? Do you see him standing there amidst the rotting minds of his peers with the book in his hand? He sees you. He's always seen you. In fact, little Anthony sees you tonight. How? Because in little Anthony is a little piece of God. And every time we neglect him, every time we forget him, every time we convict him in the womb, we are speaking to God. Mm. Yes, believe it. Know it because it is the truth. That's why I'm in heaven when you're around. Little Anthony, little black boy, please read. For every African still saving a place at the table in case you return, please read. For every bone at the bottom of the Atlantic, mm. please read. Woo! For every infant killed by his mother so that it can reach freedom before her, please read. For every slash crack open and bleed, please read. For every noose with your neck size in mind, please read. For every one of your dreams that will never fit in ballot box, I'm begging you, little Anthony. I'm begging you, please, please, please.